Sofia. I'm from Russia. I'm an English teacher and uh, I live in the eastern part of Russia. Uh, it is not far from Alaska and that's why it's very cold in winter. For example, uh, two weeks ago we had a temperature um, 40 degrees below zero. 40. And uh, oh 40, God. yes, no 14, 40. Yes, yes. 40 yes. degrees Celsius. That's why it's very cold in winter, but we are rather happy people because we have got an opportunity to play snowballs, to make snowmen, to skate, to ski, to snowboard. Uh, that's why our life is, very, is rather changeable. Uh -huh. uh, I like traveling very much. Um, I have visited China, Vietnam, and of course, our country is very beautiful. And for example, if I want to go to the capital of our country, we need eight hours flight from our city eight to hours. Moscow. Eight yes, hours. Eight, eight hours. But there is no um, airport in my city. That's why I need nine hours um, trip by train from my city to another, and then eight hours flight from, yes, yes. So nine hours from the closest airport. Yes. By yes. train. Wow. By so train. Nine hours by but, train plus eight by plane to Moscow. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, yeah. But um, if you know uh, that in Russia there is the longest railway in yes. the world. Oh, yes. I and forgot the name. The name of this railroad. Bum. Bum. Yes. Transip, bum. Transip and Bum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very and famous. my city. Yes, and my city is situated on the Bum. Wow. And uh, um, some years ago, um, I had such experience to go from my city to Moscow by train. And uh, our trip lasted for seven days by, by train, seven days. And did you yeah. like it? Um, I think that um, we need had such experience one time, <laughs> and that's enough. <laughs> Only once, okay. Yes, but uh, but some foreigners come to Russia, especially for this traveling, because uh, there is no so long railway in their countries, and uh, there are many tourists from Japan, from China because uh, um, our region is uh, situated very closely to China. That's mm -hmm. why, yes, uh, for example, um, you can see from one bank to the river uh, on another bank, China. It's yes. China. Oh my God, so it's yes. right on the border. Yes, yes. Wow. And uh, that's why uh, many people go to China for shopping. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and can, can you go and come from China freely? No, of course you need uh, foreign passports, but uh, we shouldn't have visa. Okay. It's not difficult. Wow, very nice indeed. Yeah, so I think Maria is the, fir the person from the Eastern city that I have ever talked. Mm -hmm. Uhum. Esse seria a cidade mais longe ao leste que eu já falei foi a Maria. Lá quase no Alasca. Thank you very much for coming, Maria. So, let's go to the presentations now. Thank you very much for this beautiful introduction. Uhum. Thank you. I said we were going to start with Sergio, but let's go to Isabella first, because Isabella is using her mobile data, and she might not be able to stay for the whole conversation. Okay? Uhum. Now I got your presentation, Isabel. Is this one here? Okay. Is this right? Hello, Maria. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Can you hear oh. me? Okay. Yes, of course. Nice to meet you. 
My name is Isabella. Next, Atom. I live in Belo Horizonte City, Minas Gerais State. I am 23 years old. I am single and I like adventures. Next, please. <clears throat> My family is, is small and I have a sister. Her name is Ana Carolina. She is 32 years old and that's my father, Fenelon. He is 60 years old. And that's my mother, Petronilia. She is 60 years old. Um, she's housewife. She's calm, adorable, and wise. Next. My best friend is Catarina. She lives in my neighborhood. She is 20, uh, 20 years old. She's a photographer. We are friends since childhood. She has two siblings, Rafael and Juliana. Her mother's name is Poliana and her father's name is Jair. We have very similar preferences. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, she has a Spanish class. She has a stirring graphic design every day. On the weekends, she likes watch TV series. Next. My routine has not been very interesting during the pandemic. I usually wake up late during the week and early on weekends. I usually make lunch for my family every day. And in the afternoon, I usually make phone calls with my friends to talk about the Bible. I clean the house with my mother in the afternoon too. And I'm trying to work out regularly. In the evening, I love to be with my family and my pets, watching Korean series and reading books. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Korean series, right? Yes. Yes, I was, I was thinking, what, what is that in Isabella's routine? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the name is uh, Crash Landing on You. <laughs> ah, very nice, beautiful name, okay. Um, in my free time, I like to research and I like to, uh, to play with my pets and I make video calls with my friends. Next. I live in Santinez neighborhood. My street is quiet. I live in apartments on the ninth floor. I really like living in this neighborhood. There is everything we need. And there are banks, supermarkets, ice cream parlors, bakeries, pharmacies, schools, many clothing stores, restaurants, and bars. The only thing I don't like about, about my neighborhood, there's no movie theater because I love go to cinema. Uh, next. In Belo Horizonte, there, there are some nice tourist spots like Fox Square, Mangabeiras Park, Libet Square, where there are several interesting museums, Central Market, where there is a lot of typical food, and Pampulha Lake. So it will be a pleasure to welcome here to know what is beautiful in the city. That's it. Very good, Isabella. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful presentation. So, Maria. What do you have to say? Do you, did you understand uh, the presentation well? Of course, very well. And uh, her English is perfect, I can say. Oh, perfect, Isabella. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Do you have any comments or questions about the, the content of the presentation? Do you want to ask, Isabella? Um. I just can say is that her presentation was very cute and I like such pictures very much. Uh, and it was very interesting that her routine is uh, so active. Yes, especially on the weekends. I know, Isabel, am I right? You, you wake up late during the week and yes. early the weekend. <laughs> Yes, he's a happy person. It's the opposite, <laughs> Isabella, usually. Oh, I, I think yes. I know why. Because your father is at home on the weekend. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> he makes you wake up early. Okay. Very good, Isabel. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we can go for the to the second presentation. So Maria, uh, I think this is your first uh, time as a guest speaker in one of my classes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's it. You you just have to to listen actively. If you don't understand, you can you can ask to repeat. Uh -huh. You can give some comment or maybe ask one or two questions. Uh, okay. And if you I don't see. have questions, that's not a problem. Okay. But it's good for us to practice with you because we are, except for Sarah, we are all Brazilians. And, but Sarah oh. also speaks Portuguese as a first language because she's from Portugal. So mm -hmm. uh, for us to understand ourselves, each other in, in English, it's easy mm -hmm. because everybody speaks the same native language. So when yes, we speak yes. to someone from another country, that's a good challenge. It's good for us to practice. English. And these students have been... For me too. I'm sorry? For me too. Oh, see, Maria likes these experiences too. We have been studying English with this class for only mm -hmm. since September, so six months. Oh. Okay, so just to give you a perspective, we have classes twice a week. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, now let's go to Sergio's presentation. Are you ready, Sergio? Hello, Maria. Hello, nice Senator. Meet. Nice to meet you. I, nice am, meet you. I am Sérgio Carvalho. I am 59 years old. I am married. My wife, his name is Silvana. I have been married for 39 years. I am very patient. I live in Belo Horizonte. Next. My family. I have two children. My father name is Joaquim. My mother name is Inês. His and she is 79 years old. I have nine siblings five sisters and four brothers. My father like crossword puzzle. My parents like to have lunch, which they family on Sunday together. Next. My best friend, his name is Riva. He is married, and his wife's name is Meiji. We like to play soccer and watch in TV. He is funny and happy. He doesn't like cartoon. He loves soccer. We also, a week meet the Friday night, eat dinner. He is very friendly. Next, next. My daily routine. I have the habit to wake up at 6 a.m. every day and on the weekend. My wife and I, we like eat breakfast together at 9 o'clock. I spend 12 hours for week on the internet. I like to on weekend play soccer and watch on TV. With the pandemic, I am working a lot in my house. Mm -hmm. That's Uh, in my neighborhood, there is a big supermarket. There are a lot of restaurants. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of stores. 
there is a mall in my neighborhood. Serra Verde is very good. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Sergio. Excellent. I have one question. Yes, Maria, go ahead. Uh, I'd like to ask you about your preference uh, in cuisines. What cuisines do you like more? Because there are so many restaurants in your neighborhood. <laughs> good question, good question. Sergio, so what's your favorite restaurant or your favorite food? In... From what country? Yeah. My favorite, my favorite restaurant. My favorite restaurant. What's what's the name of the your favorite restaurant? Um, okay. Name, name, name. Chama. Uh, é pizza, como é que é? Pizzaria Guarani. Pode ser. Uh, Guarani. <laughs> Guarani. Guarani Pizza Place is one of the best. Yes. There is, a, there is not only pizza, there are a lot of different dishes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so, Sérgio, do you like more Brazilian food? or food from other countries? American food, Italian food, Chinese food. What's your favorite food? Oh, favorite, Africa. African food. Wow. African food. Oh, Very good. Very good. Sergio has been to Mozambique, right, Sergio? Yes. Oh. Johannesburg. South Africa. Yeah. Johannesburg. Very nice. And what exotic meals have you eaten? Ah, very oh, my, uh, ah, my favorite band BGs. Oh, what about uh, exotic food? Exotic. Comida exotica. Ah, comida exotica. Alguma que você comeu? Exotica. Exotica. When I was in Vietnam, when I was in Vietnam, I ate crocodile meat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> crocodile meat. Crocodile, yes. And uh, it's so normal for Asian countries. <laughs> Did you did you ever eat uh, Sergio crocodile? Já comeu? Crocodile? No, no. <laughs> My, uh, no, no. Uh, camarão, shrimp, 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 salmon, 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 salmon. salmon. Oh. salmon. Yeah. Have you ever eaten uh, red caviar? Oh, caviar. Ah, have you ever eaten caviar? No. no. No, yes, went to my we spent oh no <laughs> yes. but uh oh yes but uh in my region in my region um red caviar is very popular and it's not very expensive it's not rather expensive. cheap oh, yes, yes it's very it's cheap smart. because my my region is rich of fish and uh, sometimes we eat black caviar. Wow. Yeah. I see. Uh, amazing. I think I'm going to Moscow. Then I'm going to travel around Russia. <laughs> visit and take the, the train, the longest yes. train trip, and end up eating some caviar with Maria. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'll be great going to be very nice. Very good. Now let's listen. Let's see what's the next one. Um, Sara, can you go next, Sara? Yes, Sara. Yeah. Sara can be the next. Very good. One second. Let me open the presentation. And let's see. Okay, wait a second. Oh, do you want to share the screen, Sarah? Or do you, do you want me to 
to share screen. Um, uh, just a, a little, please. Sorry, because my mom is in the cell phone. Oh, no Sorry. problem. Do, do you want to share screen or do you want yes, to? Yes, yes, to yes, share yes. Screen? Yes, just a little bit. Oh. Okay, for the initial. Okay. Okay. Yes, perfect. Okay. So, Maria, hello. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> I talk about uh, a little about me. <laughs> okay, my name is Sara. I'm 33 years old and I'm from uh, Portugal. Um, I'm from Lisbon. Lisbon is the capital of Portugal. Okay, so I'm a um, primary teacher. Oh, okay. it's great. We are <laughs> colleagues. Okay, yes. Uh, about me, I'm a very outgoing uh, people and uh, people know, sorry, person. I'm a very outgoing person. I'm a very relaxed <laughs> person and I'm very talkative. Okay, I like to talk too much with, mm -hmm. uh, with the other people, with my friends, with uh, anyone <laughs> I like to talk uh, and I'm very curious person okay um, so um, I'm a Jehovah's Witness okay and I'm a volunteer too okay mm -hmm. this picture in the right is from Mozambique from Africa oh, it's great it is me uh, in 2019. Okay, mm -hmm. this is my family. I have, uh, okay, my family is small because I'm an only child. Um, this is my parents. I'm, I'm single. I live with my parents. Um, my family is very big. We are about 60 or 70 person people um, because uh, we we are very a very very big family. Okay, I have uh, many uncles and aunts and cousins. <laughs> my family is very big, but in my house. Um, just three people, okay, and me and my parents. Okay, this is my mom. Um, her name is uh, Isabel. She is 68 years old. She's very um, kind. She's, she's a very kind person. She's uh, very helpful for the others. Okay, and the right in the right picture, this is my father. Um, his name is Antonio. Um, he's 63 years old. Uh, he's retired, and um, he's very talkative with me, um, like me. <laughs> About okay, my best friend name is. Vanya, okay, um, she's 34 years old, um, she's married and lives near Lisbon, close to me. Um, we meet a few years ago because we have a friend in common. Um, she's funny and 
outgoing people, but um, she doesn't talk too much. Uh, her husband um, name is Nario, Dario, and he's very outgoing, is very happy and very excited. Um, is very good uh, person. <laughs> Uh, they they are a very good couple. Okay, about my uh, daily my rut routines. Okay, I usually get up um, at half past eight on weekdays. On the weekends, I get up more later. Okay, I have my breakfast with my mom and. Uh, then uh, I go to the Zoom meeting with my friends. Uh, we like share good news and um, messages of hope with the people by letters and phone, phone calls. Okay. Um, at the noon, I have a lunch with my father because my mom is in work. In the afternoon, I work with my students, the classes. Uh, I work with my students, please. The classes starts at half past three. And I dinner with my parents around eight o'clock and watch the news. At night, I like to read and watch series. I'm going to sleep about midnight, more or less. Okay, um, I live in Portugal. Okay, um, this picture, these pictures are uh, from Lisbon, the capital. Okay, but my home is in a town around Lisbon. Okay, it's too close, but it is around Lisbon. Um, uh, a town uh, named Povo de Santa Iria. Okay, in my neighborhood has many big buildings, but there are some houses. Um, here, living many families, but is very quiet. Okay, there are everything we need. There are many supermarkets, a small, a small mall. Okay. There are schools, banks, gyms, and several outdoors, cafe and restaurants, but we don't have um, fast food places. <laughs> okay. Um, more. Uh, there are a nice park with some animals like cows, sheep, and donkeys. They are very good. Okay, I really like living this neighborhood. Okay, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sara. And I have one question. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Are there any teachers in your big family? Uh, no, no. It, um, I was the first in my family. <laughs> The first you are the beginner, beginner. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So Maria's time is over, right, Maria? 30 minutes. Thank you. I think you have to go now for a of class. Of course. Thank you, so but let's not Thank forget you so much. to take a picture. Yes. Let's take the class picture. Oh, yes. ah, is everybody ready? Okay. Look at the camera, smile, everybody. Yeah. Three. Oh, Maria, it's cutting your forehead a little bit. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. Ah, okay, thank you very much. Three, two, one, say cheese. Excellent. Maria, thank you very much for your time. Good questions, interesting comments, okay? It was great talking to you. Thank you. And I hope I hope to talk to you again. You're always welcome in the Conversation Club on Saturday. Um, okay? I'd like to prepare my presentation and then tell you about my life, show my photos. And I think that it will be very interesting for you to know how people live in Russia. Yeah.
And as for me, it was a great experience. Thank you, Thol, so much. And thank you. Great idea. If you want to, we always have the, the class at this time on Tuesday for you, Wednesday and Friday, which for you is Saturday morning. Oh, Saturday. So it's a great do... time. Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you thank very much. You. It's bye, bye, amazing. Bye. We can chat on. Bye, thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you, Maria. Bye-bye. You You're welcome. <laughs> Great presentation, Sarah. Thank you very much. Hello, Mike. Mike. Mike is coming. Sarah já pode soltar lá na Inglaterra, que ela se dá bem. Sarah pode ir para a Inglaterra, pode ir para a vizinha tranquila agora. Pode ir, Sarah. Oh, Atel, eu falei muito. Eu passei muito. Oh, a little, a little more than the usual time, but you didn't speak too much. I think it was good, good content. Maybe you could speak a little faster, but it was, the content was perfect. Já chegou, né? Sara? Ah, tu pede, pede para ele ativar o, 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 o som que ele não conectou, tá vendo? Acho que tem como yeah, você pedir para ativar. Maria achou que a Isabela já era... A Isabela já era professora de inglês. Maria achou, ela conversou com bem, com vocês. Ah, no, nível que eu no, 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 no dia que eu chegar no nível seu, eu sei, eu estou bem demais. Deus? Ah, Mike is here. Hello, Mike. Hey, how are you doing? Sorry about that. I'm good. Hello. No. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, good, uh, good evening. What, what time is it there? Ah, it's... What time is it? Let's see, Sergio. What time is it now? Uh, at the six thirty-three. Yeah, six thirty-three. Ah, six thirty-three. Okay, I am uh, four hours ahead. PM, né? Six forty-three PM. PM, yes, four yeah. hours, Mike. So it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God, it's late for you, Mike. I'm sorry for having you so late. Oh, I'm so. I'm, it's okay. It's okay. No, no problem. <laughs> Mike is very young, very strong, so he's wide awake at this time. <laughs> I, I have some, uh, some, some tea here. It will wake me up a little yes, bit. Yes, yeah, tea. But coffee. People say coffee is better for waking up. Uh, but I don't want to be uh, too awake because uh, I want to sleep in maybe a few hours. So yes, I just need a yes. little bit of uh, caffeine to wake me up. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, very good. So now we can go, let's see who is going to be the first. Okay, let's listen to Paulo and Flavia's presentation. Paulo and Flavia's presentation is going to be very nice. Did you change, Paulo? Did you make any changes to the presentation or it's the same? Uh... Atlo, eu mudei, eu mandei, eu mandei para o seu zap. Ah, ok. Flávia. Let me check, Flávia. Ah, ok. So, the first one or the second one, Flávia? Você que sabe. Let me see. Ah, the first one, Paulo. Ok, I got it right. Ok. Wait a second, let me share screens with you. Oh, Mike, would you like to introduce yourself before I, I start? Sure. Uh, okay, so my name is Mike. I'm at Atalo uh, in an organization uh, called the Hands Up Project. We both volunteer. Uh, I'm an educator as well. I've been teaching and working within education for about 11 plus years. I started uh, my educational, uh, or my education career uh, as a teacher in New York City. Uh, I uh, Originally, I'm a 
special education and math teacher. So I, I would teach uh, uh, students uh, with special needs, uh, children and uh, young adults that have uh, maybe a learning uh, disability or have an emotional uh, disorder. Uh, so I would, uh, I did this in uh, middle school and high school. And then after uh, I went to Asia and uh, with the, the Fulbright program and I taught uh, English and I really enjoyed teaching English. And then I have uh, really traveled uh, around the world teaching English. And now I'm in Morocco uh, where I'm joining you. And yes, uh, I, I teach English again and I have some other uh, education programs. Uh, I like, uh, I'm learning how to play the, the, the piano, the keyboard. Uh, I like uh, to garden. Um, I'm married uh, with my wife. It's been two, almost two years. We're very happy. Um, what else? I like dogs more than cats. American or is she from, from Asia, from Morocco? Guess, guess. How about we play a game? You can guess where my wife is from. Let's guess. Quem chuta aí? De onde é a esposa dele? What country is my wife from? Oh, I, I can give you a hint. Yeah, maybe I can give you a hint. Okay. Uh, the, the first hint. The food, the local food. Um, one of the dishes is called tagine. Tagine. Sara, no. Sara, open your microphone, Sara. It's Morocco. You got it. Oh, Morocco. Oh, my Morocco. God. So you, you got married to a Moroccan. Very nice. Yes. And uh, this is funny, but I, I think it's appropriate. But in the past, I had a, a girlfriend from Brazil. So I know a little bit about Brazilian life. I, I think a little bit. Oh, uh, nice. Okay, great. Yes. Thank you very much. Excellent. See? I didn't know all those stuff before, but now I can see that you are the perfect guest speaker for us today. Really? Okay, that's yeah. great. I hope I hope to be the perfect one. It's, oh, it's yeah. a tough, Amazing. a high expectation for me. High expectation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very good. Let's start with Paulo's presentation. Yes, Paulo, we are hearing you. Hi, Mike. How are you? Hi, Paulo. I'm good. Thank you. And you? Good. Thank you. Uh, my name is Paulo Romulo. I'm 64 years old. I'm retired now, but I never stopped working. Uh, I'm married uh, with Flavia. She is love, smart, and hardworking. Uh, she's my classmate now. Uh, I love birds, fishing, and love soccer. Next. My family. I have a big family. Uh, nine siblings, dozen of cousins and nephews. I have three children and two grandchildren. Uh, my son, Rafael, lives in Belo Horizonte. She is 36 years old. Uh, she's worked with, with environmental engineering. We make, uh, we make craft beer together. My daughter, Mariana, lives in New Plymouth, New Zealand. She is 38 years old. She, she's an astrologer and she's very good at what she does. My daughter, Paola, is a pretty girl, smart uh, and sweet girl, sweet, very sweet girl. Paola loves uh, dance and sing and do gymnastics. Uh, I love to, to, to see her sing and dance. Huh? Uh, my grandchildren, 
Rafael Santos Lucas is six years old and his sister Clara is four. Next, Atalo. My best friend is Alfredo. Uh, he is 73 years old. We work uh, in Semi Bank for uh, 30 years. We are retired now. We are the same passion for bird breeding. He is fun. He is uh, love to talk to people and uh, listen to the stories. Next, Seattle. My routine. Uh, I usually get up before uh, age in weekdays, before seven or six in weekends. Uh, I eat breakfast uh, with my family every day, breakfast and lunch with my family every day. On weekends, and I like having barbecue, uh, beer, uh, drinking some beer, and, and talking with my family and friends. Uh, I usually work with birds uh, in the mornings every day, especially on the weekends. Unfortunately, uh, during the pandemic, uh, I hardly ever see my friends in person. Sometimes uh, talk to them on my cell phone or on the internet. Uh, I miss our meeting a lot. Uh, next teacher. My neighborhood. I live in Lagoa Santa City for 12 years. My neighborhood is very peaceful and nice. My street is very quiet and welcoming. Uh, Lagoa Santa is a small city uh, next to Belo Horizonte, capital of the Minas, state of Minas Gerais. Uh, uh, the city's uh, Central Lake is a very pleasant place to be and walk. Uh, there are many bars, cafes, and, and restaurants around it. Uh, in my city, there are many stores and residences too, but there aren't many big buildings and big, big, big industries in our city. Um, I know same people in my neighborhood. Many people spend uh, weekends in Lagoa Santa. It's a very calm, beautiful and wel welcome city. I like to live here. That's it, Mike. Very. Thank you. Right yeah, there. it looks like a beautiful place. And thank you for, for sharing. Yes. Good. So do you have any comments or questions for Paulo? If you want to, to, to say or, or ask any questions, feel free. Okay, you can ask one or two questions or make a comment to about the presentation if you want to. Yes, Mike. Ah, yes. So you, you said that you you breed birds or you watch uh, you like bird watching like you like you watch the birds or you you breed them breeding, breeding. wow I've never heard of that what kind of birds do you breed I breed, breed bird breeding wow I work with them yeah what what uh I don't know uh, many birds but like uh, like big birds like parrots or like oh, uh, toucan Small birds, uh, okay. canary of the land uh, is one, 
one type the 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 small small bird Brazilian Brazilian bird. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Well, how how many birds do you have at home uh, in your in your breeding area, Paul? Uh, actually, I have uh, about uh, three three. Uh, Two hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. About three hundred birds. Wow. And yes, I, I was in Paulo's house once, and he told me that he exports to to the United States, especially, right, Paulo? Yes. I export to to United States, uh, both, uh, by Boston, from Boston, uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Wow, you, how do you send, how do you ship the birds? You, you, you can't put them in a box, yeah? Like, how do they uh, survive? How do they, uh, how can you send them to the US? That's a good question. Uh, my, no, uh, I don't, don't, don't understand. Uh, like, uh, I, I want, I want your birds. Uh, how can you give it to me? You put you put the bird in a in the box, and you with the DHL or how how do you send the like uh, the bird? How do you send the birds? Uh -huh. How do you send the birds? Uh, com, com que like, uh, ship? How do you ship them? Uh, or the, like, uh, like, uh, 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 I'm don't understand that. Oh, oh, it's okay. Uh, it's very, it's very cool uh, that you breed birds. You're the first person I have, I have heard of that does this. It's a very uh, unique hobby. Yes, I had never seen that before. I said, "Como, como que faz para para enviar? Você coloca ele numa caixa e?" Eu entendi que era para enviar, mas eu não sei explicar. Uh, ah, so okay, okay. So he understands. He doesn't know how to explain in English. Yeah. Ah, you know, it, I, I studied Spanish, so I understood the explicar. So it's like, ah, oh, it's a little similar. Uh, I got a little bit of it. Um, okay, okay. I, uh, I, 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 the birds travel by by uh, air. Ah, uh, airplane. 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 Uh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's, That's it? Is it. <laughs> okay. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Paulo. Amazing. Thank you. Now, Thank Mike, you. we are going to see the presentation by his wife. Yes. Uh, you are in uh, different rooms. Yeah. Yes. Different rooms, yeah, the same house, the same classroom. They are now classmates. Look how romantic. Yeah, that, that is very. So wait, wait. You were classmates, and then you got you met, and then you got married, or no? No, they, they were married before the class. Ah, okay, okay. I'm not a matchmaker, no. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Okay, Flavia, go ahead. Hello, Mike. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. Um, uh, my name is Flavia. I'm 47 years old. I live in Lagoa Santa, Minas Gerais. I'm married and I have a daughter. Um, I work at my home and also at a family company. I am a methodical, organized and perfectionist person. Uh, my husband and my daughter say I am a control freak. It's true, <laughs> but this is bad, I get stressed. Um, so I'm always trying to improve. Um, uh, I don't travel too much, but I love it. Um, I like to meet my friends and my relatives. I like music, decoration, and study English. Next. <laughs> oh, I have a small family. There are four people at my home. Uh, my husband, Paulo, 
my daughter, Paola, and my mom, Maria José, and I. Uh, Paulo is a tall man. He's handsome, uh, smart, and also a dreamer. Uh, he likes bird watching and fishing. Paola is 13 years old. She is a very creative girl. Uh, she likes to draw, paint, uh, dance, sing, plays the guitar. Um, she likes to express herself through art. And she's beautiful. <laughs> My mom is a very religious person. She's sensitive. Uh, she loves to talk with everyone, maybe because she's blind and she's a little needy. Um, Paulo has two more children, Rafael and Mariana. Uh, they're both married. And I also have a brother and a nephew. Um, we have three dogs, two big dogs and a baby beagle. They're very messy, <laughs> but they're, they're cute. Oh, I have a, a few child, childhood friends and also other friends I meet in, in the adult life. Uh, one of them is my English classmate, Mara. She lives in Lagoa Santa too, with her mom and her daughter, Laís. Uh, Mara, is a, uh, Mara likes to have people over and get together with her friends. Uh, she is very fun, attentive, and welcoming person. Next. Um, my routine. I get up and go to bed late, almost every day. Sometimes I go walk outdoors. Uh, and every day I work at my company. I take care of my home. Uh, I make lunch to my family and we have lunch together. I uh, usually study English and also watch moves. Uh, on the weekends, I, I relax a little and, and I spend time with my family. Um, we like to have barbecue on Saturdays and watch moves, TV series. Um, I like to sing on karaoke too. My city, Lagoa Santa. Uh, I live here since 2008. It's a town next to Belo Horizonte, capital of Minas Gerais state. Uh, I think my city is very charming. There's a wonderful lake downtown and many people go there to walk, work out and have fun. Um, there's uh, 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 many caves around here uh, and many tourists from around the world come to visit our city from because the caves. Uh, my neighborhood is quiet and silent. There's no more traffic. There, there's, there are no stores here. There's nothing here, <laughs> just houses and apartments. <laughs> um, I know a few neighbors on my street. Everyone is very friendly. And my home, uh, my home, uh, I think my home is beautiful. Uh, there's a big backyard here and many fruit trees. So that's it. Very good. Congratulations, Flavia. This is Lagoa Santa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the pictures of Lagoa Santa in the end. Yeah, let me show again because I, I spoiled the last one. Wait a second, look, Mike, the pictures from Lagoa Santa. Yes. This is our, uh, our little city. Okay, very good, Mike. So do you have any questions or comments to Flavio? Yeah, it, I really like uh, this city. So everyone here is from Lagoa. Lagoa Santa. Yeah. Oh, wow. See, uh, Mike. Mike's going to learn Portuguese very fast. One, two, three. 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 Uh, three people are Mara, 
Paulo and Flavio, yeah? Okay. And, and Arthur. Yeah. Oh, yes, four with me. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, you said you like uh, karaoke. What Do you sing uh, only Portuguese songs or you, do you have a favorite English song you like to sing? Or um, I sing um, two. I like uh, music in Portuguese and, and English too. Oh, what, uh, what song in English is your favorite or do you like uh, to sing? Um, I, I like uh, the music of the Rihanna ah, and, yeah. and Adele. Oh, Adele. Adele is, is a difficult, uh, she has difficult songs, yeah? You have to have a, a strong yes. voice. Yeah. Yes, I don't know uh, music, uh, I don't know sing music the Adele. <laughs> you like to oh. sing, but you don't know very well. Uh. Thanks. You know, yeah. uh, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, it's fun to try. Okay, that's good. That's good. I, uh, I for me, uh, Portuguese. Uh, let's see. I like uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Sue George. Is this how you pronounce his name? Sue George. Yeah. Sue George. I like Sue George. I saw him in uh, New York City. It was amazing. It was really good. It was really good. I like too. Yeah. Very nice. Very beautiful history background here. Oh, for background, yeah. Yeah, history? he has a nice, a nice background. Yes, if you research about his history, it's very interesting too. Oh, he came from what the fa favela? Is that what you say? He came from the rough neighborhoods, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm. That's right. Very good. Excellent, Flavio. Good job. Now Thank let's you. Go. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Thanks. And their daughter is my student too. Yes. Oh, pa Paula, Paula. Yeah. Paula. Paula. Paula, Paula. Paula, yes. So she, she convinced the parents to join the classes too. Oh, cool. That's great. It's good. I think it, as a family, you can learn uh, better together. At, at breakfast, you can encourage, uh, motivate each other to learn. I think it's a, it's a really good strategy. Yeah. Learning to get when they have questions, they can run to Paola and Paola help them. <laughs> Very good. Now let's go to the next presentation. Edson, can you go next? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, excellent. So Edson and, and Barbosa, the next two people, they live in a in a city close to ours, but not in, in the same city. Do you want me to share the screen, Edson, or are you going to share? Oh, uh, uh, here. Okay. And then after Edson, there is Barbosa. Não está abrindo a tela cheia aí, Elton. Acho que agora sim. Pode entrar, Paola. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's all. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? Great, thanks. All right. My name is Edson. I am 38 years old. I was born in Ribeirão Pires, a small town in Sao Paulo State. Ribeirão Pires is a, a cold town, but is near some tourist spot to walk, enjoy nature or ride an old train. The fog 
every afternoon some people call the city an English village. Today, I live and work in Minas Gerais State. Minas Gerais is the land of cheese. Look at the map, please. This is Brazil map. I was born here, but I live here 600 kilometers away. I go to play volleyball and I like cars. My favorite food is lasagna. I like music, especially samba. Samba is a popular Brazilian music. I have dogs. I like horses. I like animals. I work in the maintenance of an assembly hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. I am married. I have been married for 14 years, but I don't have children. My wife's name is Eloisa. She's beautiful, fun, and very smart. These are my go. Tenta usar a setinha do teclado para trás. Então fala desse primeiro, depois você volta. Minha inter, inter, my internet. Fala desse, dessas fotos aí primeiro, depois você volta para. Ok. My best friend is Peter. He's living in Itambé today. It is a small city in Brazil. He's 28 years old. His wife, Tatiana, she's very smart. She's an English teacher. Pedro also is English teacher. He speaks four languages, English, Spanish, Portuguese, and German. They like to travel around the road. We lived in the same neighborhood for 10 years. Our parents are our neighbor until today. I talk to Peter once or twice a week by text message. My routine uh, has changed a lot because of the pandemic, but uh, it is still a very busy routine. I get up early on weekdays at 6.30 a.m. I make coffee and my wife make pancakes. I love pancakes. I start work at eight o'clock and stop at noon for lunch. I lunch at my home. I like Rice, beans, beef, and potatoes for lunch. Three times a week, I go to the gym. I leave home at 5, 5 p.m. On Saturday and Sunday, I rest. I watch some series or moves with my wife. After that, I watch soccer match. Sometimes I walk uh, the late afternoon with my wife. On Sunday night, I like to watch the news and go to bed about uh, 20, 23 p.m. My neighborhood is far from downtown. My neighborhood is calm quiet and safe. It is an old city. There are a lot of supermarkets, stores, and bakeries. There is no nice place to go. 
I mean, uh, there is no mall, no big gym, no move theaters, but there are some places to eat if you like pizza. To have fun people usually go to Belo Horizonte. Belo Horizonte is the largest city in the region. In my town, uh, the young people go to St. Paul's Square, uh, top, uh, stop cars, open the, the doors, and they stay uh, talking, listening loud music until late at night. Yeah, I like my city. This is my, this is me, and this is my life. Very good. Congratulations. That's an excellent presentation. Thank you. Yeah. So, ah, you, you have to go back. Yes. Think about that slide, slide. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. There is one more slide. Yeah. Yes. Oh, these are my relatives. My father, my stepmother, my brother my sister, and my dear nephews. Okay? No, now it's over. That's it. That's it, very good, thank <laughs> you. Congratulations, excellent job. So Mike, do you want to, to make any comments or questions to Edson? Oh, sure, uh, Edson, I, I like that. Uh, so the where you live is the state for cheese? Is that is that what you said? It was the your your city is known for cheese. Is that correct? Or... Yes, here uh, a city, uh, small small people's uh, small people's call city uh, land the cheese. So but... your city, land of cheese. Okay. Uh, I, I don't I don't like cheese. <laughs> ah, but you like lasagna. It's your favorite cheese uh, and lasagna. But, but only cheese, no. Uh, ah, oh, okay. Oh, yes. You like it with the food. You don't eat just cheese. Yes. Oh. But the cheese melting from the pizza and the lasagna he likes. Yes, yes. Uh, mm. Have you uh so my my step family, they're from uh, Colombia. And uh, in the morning, they like to drink uh, hot chocolate with cheese. Do you ever put cheese wow. in your hot chocolate? Do you know? Is this? I see uh, some of your face like. Yeah. <laughs> my my wife uh, cheese in in your coffee. Coffee! Wow! Yeah. I haven't tried that. <laughs> wow. Okay, I, I will try that tomorrow. But the the hot chocolate and cheese, it's good. But uh, yeah. better than. Uh, Huh? It might be better than with coffee. I don't know. I will try. I, I will try most things. I will try <laughs> yeah. most things. Yeah. Oh, that, that's cool, though. Uh, so you, you live in the country, it sounds. You are away from the, like you would call the country, like the rural, the rural area. Yeah? Would you say? Uh, no rural uh, area, oh, okay. but, but far, far downtown. Ah, maybe like uh, the suburbs, like uh, the suburbs. Okay, You're, so you live in the suburbs, like not in the city, but in more residential, more more houses and uh, I'm cool. relaxed. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's nice. I like the suburbs too. Yes, and a lot of mining. There are a lot of mines here to to make cement and stuff. Oh yeah. In, in my in my street, three uh, house. Three houses. <laughs> yeah. Wow, three houses. That's great. Mm. That's very peaceful. Yeah. That's, uh, can you can you make lasagna? Do you know how to make lasagna or? Oh yes, yes. Oh, you can make lasagna. That's great. Yes. Do you do you like play volleyball too? Yeah, yeah. I am. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, I, you know, I I play. You know, with friends, but. I never got very serious about volleyball. Um, um, you uh, you play uh, regularly. You play uh, play volleyball maybe every week or something. Or how often do you play? 
I play every Sunday. Oh, that's great. Yes, and Edson is very tall. He's like two meters tall. So oh. he's very, it's very easy to play. You spike, you spike the ball, yeah? You come yes, run to yes. the net, you go like that, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> I bet, yeah, that's good. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much, Edson. Excellent. Now let's go to Barbosa, the next one. Barbosa lives in the same kind of place and, and doing the same kind of work. And let's see, but he comes from a different place in Brazil. So let's see Barbosa's presentation. Barbosa. Hi, Mike. Hi, Barbosa. Uh, my name is Barbosa. Uh, I am 33 years old. I, I am single. I live in São José da Lapa, a small city near Belo Horizonte, Brazil. It's San Jose. Uh, no, San Jose is not a tourist city. There uh, no mall, no cinema, no uh, movie theater. But uh, a small supermarket. Uh, they are a couple of uh, a couple of restaurants and the fast food place. I, th I think uh, fast food place and restaurants are very expensive in São José. <laughs> <laughs> it's my family. My mother name is Maria Socorro. She is 61 is old. Uh, she is very strict with her children. Uh, I have five siblings, two brothers, and three sisters. Uh, my siblings uh, are married. My brothers. Uh, don't have children, but my 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 sister uh, have children. These children, uh, when the the kids uh, together, they make a lot of noise. When uh, together. The kids together, noise, noise, noise. My best friend, name is Hernandez. Uh, we are friends, uh, 15 is. is. Uh, he uh, working uh, a barber shop at home. We like it out a uh, fast food place uh, together uh, sometimes uh, on the weekends my routine uh, i get up uh, i get up six a uh, half uh, and a half uh, every day week a week uh, I have breakfast at uh, 7 o'clock every day, week. I start to work at uh, 8, 8 o'clock and uh, finish uh, at uh, five, 5 o'clock. Uh, my free time, 
I like uh, watch TV series, uh, soccer match. Uh, my favorite hobby outgoing going is beach and uh, green gonna cook. Uh, it's my life. Very good, Amosa. Excellent. Thank you very much. Beautiful. See? Green coconut. Green coconut. Very nice. So, Mike, if you want to uh, make any questions or comments. Oh, yeah. So, uh, well, you and your best friend Hernandez, you go uh, to the fast food restaurants. Which one? Uh, do you normally go to? Question. My uh, best friend, uh, fast food uh, places, uh, McDonald's, uh, Subway. Oh. Subway. Subway. Can you can you tell me about? I don't. I've never heard Subway. Can you uh, describe it for me? What what kind of uh, is it, I guess, Brazilian food? Uh, or you said Subway. Subway? Subway, yes. Subway. Oh, I thought you said, I thought, you said, uh, I, thought I, I heard a Brazilian word. I was like, this, uh, I don't know. Okay, Subway. <laughs> yes, I know Subway. But it's I not the one you take I, I, to places, okay? It's the one you eat. It's the what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very oh good. Subway, okay. McDonald's. But the French fries from Burger King are the best. Ah. Yeah. Well, I don't. I uh, in, in McDonald's in Morocco, you can get different fries. You can get the thicker, like a like normal McDonald's are a little thin, but you can ask for something thicker, and those are okay. Uh, Burger King is good. Uh, but yeah, the for me, the food in in Brazil was was always was really delicious when I went. Uh, uh, even the basic, I like, like, was it rice and uh, beans and then uh, an egg and then uh, farofa or something? What's that? Farofa was you put on the top of that? It was, so good. It was good. It was good. Barbosa, do you, do you like farofa, Barbosa? I like. Yes, usually, like, people from the northeast of Brazil love farofa. They eat farofa with honey, farofa by itself. But also with yeah. banana, but also <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because uh, I mean, farofa it, you you make it from uh, yuca, yeah, it's made from yuca. Correct? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I cannot, I could not find it in the U.S. and in Morocco, there's no no uh, no yuca or farofa. Yes. But, uh, so I because it's, it's very good on the on the beans and rice with eggs. It's very nice. Like delicious. That. Leandro, one time Leandro gave me a delicious farinha. Farinha is the cousin of farofa. Farinha is, oh. you know, in, in English, it's flour. Delicious flour, manioc flour, very hydrated, very nice. Oh, uh, Barbosa, did you, have, have you cooked? Do you cook with uh, farina? Have you made that? Oh, good question, Barbosa. Do you like to eat farinha? Yes, yes. It's farinha to farinha, farofa, all the powders, <laughs> all the flowers. <laughs> uh, very good, Lavosa. Thank you very much. Excellent presentation. Now, Mike, if you have more time, the second last. The, I'm sorry, the what? Second last. There are on, only two more to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Okay, Leandro, go ahead. Oh, it's Leandro. Compartilhei, por favor. Está liberado? I'm sorry? Está liberado, está liberado. Yeah. It's free for participants to share. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, Mike. Uh, huh? Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to try and remember. Uh, I went to uh, to uh, Rio 
maybe three years ago for the for the samba for the carnival kind of experience. Uh -huh. So, but uh, many people tell me that the Rio at this time is is not very Brazilian. It, every, they told me that the people in Brazil they they leave Rio to go away from the tourists because there's That's so right. many tourists right. and uh, so yeah. uh, my I did not I don't think I had a very uh, authentic experience I think it was very uh, touristic I, I don't know yeah. what, what do you true. think That's true you you went to the the uh, most beautiful place but at the the worst even I don't like carnival because it's very messy and people are people get crazy. Oh yeah, it's very crazy. Not. Very yes, but if you but, want uh, authentic the beaches, wow, the beaches you is, uh, come to our state here. Huh? You should come to our state here, our city, to have a yeah. authentic Mineira experience. Please, okay, I will. Yeah. After I get my vaccination, I will I will fly and yes, yes, very important. <laughs> okay, Leandro, go ahead. Okay. Hello, Mark, Mike, Mike, Mark, né? Mike, Mike, yeah. Mike, yeah. I'm Mike. Leandro. Okay, and my name is Leandro. <clears throat> I am 40 years old and have been married for 11 years. My wife's name is Daniela, but her nickname is Dani. Okay. Um, I am shy, but I like to talk. Um, I'm from Salvador. Salvador is first capital of Brazil, but today I live in Belo Horizonte. Belo Horizonte is in the southeast of Brazil. Um, Red uh, is state Minas Gerais. Belo Horizonte is in state of Minas Gerais. Minas Gerais is big state of Brazil. Now I'm going to talk about some people in my family. My family live in Salvador. My parents are old. Mm. I have two brothers and three sisters. I have also some aunts, cousin, and nephew. Um, the, the little girl, the little girl uh, is my is my Yes, yes. Uh, she name is Cindy. Cindy uh, is five years old. My family is very big in Salvador. My family is black because in Salvador, many people are black. Now I'm going to take about my friend. I have a lot of friends too in many places of Brazil. One of my friends is Genaldo. We are childhood friends. Genaldo is very annoying. It's annoying because he calls me ring, me team loses, but he hangs up ring, he still loses. Genaldo is married and has one child. He is 44 years old. In my free time, in my free time, I like to stay home. I love football. I like to watch football and to listen to music. I don't like movies, but Sometimes I watch a movie with my wife. I'm going to talk about my neighborhood. I live in a simple neighborhood, 
but it's very busy. In front of my house, there is a backer car garage and a church. The bus passes next to my house, so, so it's very noisy. But my neighborhood is not dangerous. This is my life. Thank you. Very good, Leandro. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Sorry for error. <laughs> sorry for. <laughs> don't no, sorry. don't don't be sorry. Uh, you have to to talk and practice and keep going. Uh, mistakes are normal. Uh, it, I cannot speak Portuguese, so uh, you are doing very good to speak another language. Yeah. See, Mike, very supportive. Very good, Mike. Thank you. Yes. Would you like to ask any questions or comments, uh, uh, to Leandro? Yeah. You. You. You said. Um, I could. You said something that. Uh, could you show the slide again, Atalo? There's a, a question I had about. Uh... Oh sure, sure. Uh, Leandro, tem. Uh, Compartilhe de novo, falou o slide. Tem um, um slide lá que ele quer perguntar. Hi, Daniela. Yeah, Daniela is the next, the last one, yeah. another couple. Oh, the last one, okay. Yes, uh, another last... couple in the class, see? Wow, yeah. it's a very uh, close community you have here. Yeah. Yes, very close community. Qual que é o a foto que ele quer ver? Compartilha aí que ele fala. Compartilha desde o... Ah, sim. Já compartilha. Eu achei que estava já compartilhando. Perdão. A gente achou que já estava compartilhando. Acontece. That happens. Impressionado aqui ainda não. Não. Ok. Yet. Ah. Aê. Ok, very good. Which, which slideshow, Mike? Ah, could you go back? Uh, oh, yes, and I remember. So your, your friend, your best friend, Ronaldo, uh, you said he is annoying. Yes, yes, that's a, a, a difficult part, what? but a very important one. Why is your friend, your best friend, annoying, Leon? Annoying? Yes. Porque por Becaus é annoying? Hum. Ele quer saber por que que o Genaldo é annoying? Yes, yes, é isso que ele quer saber. <laughs> uh, annoying because he calls me when my team loses. So he calls Leandro when Leandro's uh, Leandro. Ah, okay, okay. And Mika, Mikal, yes. Mikal, when team when my team loses. Mikal ah, when. Okay. Yes, and when and when his team, Genaldo's team loses. Uh, he hangs up, he turns off the phone. <laughs> okay, I get that. I get that. Okay. That was my, uh, it's, uh, I, I can understand. In the US, we have, uh, you know, American football. So we call, and there are many, we call this uh, rivalries, rivalries with the teams that, uh, you know, like Manchester and Liverpool, they don't, they always are big teams that go against. Um, in the U.S. for American football, we have some rivalries as well. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's fun to call your friend. Uh, it's annoying, but it's also fun, I think. Uh, yeah, it's that, so, so. <laughs> very common here. Very, soccer, very strong here, so. Very yeah. Cool. You know, uh, I know, you know, we, we call it soccer in the U.S., but uh, now that I live in Morocco, I lived in Morocco for maybe almost three years, almost three years. Uh, I think it, football is the, is, I think we should call it football, not soccer, but this is uh, my opinion. Uh, but yeah, in the U.S., they say soccer, but... Uh, football. football for us is even easier because it's almost the same in Portuguese. What, football? Yeah. Football, yeah. yes. But I, I don't know. Uh, 
I mean, it, like the U.S. I mean, the whole world says football, but the U.S. Says soccer. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I right. think it's funny. I think it's funny. But uh, but yeah. So I, for me, I say football, and then I say American football. But in the U.S., it's good to say soccer. I guess. Um, yeah, to um, make yeah. a difference. Yeah, more more people are watching. Uh, you know, soccer. Uh, in the U.S., but still, I think the the number one sport for for watching is uh, American football. I think, mm -hmm. and then maybe basketball or baseball, and then I think uh, soccer after that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much, Leandro. Beautiful presentation. You, Leandro. Well, let's see the last one. Leandro's wife, Daniela. Hi, Daniela. Hi. <laughs> Sharing screens. Tá dando para ver, Nathalie? Yes. Carregando. Ok. Perfect. Hi. My name is Daniela. I am 39 years old. I am married to my classmate, Leandro. I live in Belo Horizonte, southwest south of Brazil. Uh, Belo Horizonte is a very beautiful city. There are parks and, and old buildings. But I don't know much about the, the history of the city because I live here for a short time. My family is nice. I have three siblings. One sister, her name is Kelly, and the two brothers, their name is Neto and Renato. I am a second, second child. I have many uncles, I have many cousins. I love being being with them. My best friend is Priscilla. She's a lot of fun, a great friend and a good daughter. She is a teacher uh, of deaf children. Children always love her. I am very pro proud of her. I have a, a very busy routine, but I like it a lot. I sell women's clothes and I do volunteer work of Bible education for the, 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 the deaf. I sometimes sell chocolates and in my routine in the house every day. Uh, clean the house, the, do the laundry, cook. This routine never stops. In my, in my free time, I usually watch TV, listen to music, and learn new, team, new thing. for example, English. I really like to study. My neighborhood is nice and small. It's boring. This is, this is no fast food plates, no mall, no good store. There is an expensive supermarket, supermarket and a delicious bakery. My neighborhood is very nice. A lot of traffic. But I like my house a lot. That's how, thanks.
There we go. Congratulations, Daniela. Thank you. Excellent. See? Very good, Mike. Do you have any comments or questions? Yeah. Uh, so do you make chocolate? Like the little uh, chocolate treats? Daniela, do you make? Do you make? Do you make it? Uh, you make it? Yes. Ah. Yes, I have eaten them. It's wow. delicious. What? What? Little bonbon. Bon bon. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you know bonbon? Uh, it's like, like a little round thing, right? Like. Uh, yes. Yes. A little round, uh, kind of sweet with chocolate cover and soft chocolate inside, or soft or a, a little different kind of feeling yeah, inside. Yeah. There's there's one I, that is made with like uh, is it dolce dolce or something with like coconut? Oh, dolce uh, yes, condensed milk. Uh, that that condensed milk, yeah. That that one's I've had that one before. Yeah, Brigadeiro. and the chocolate. Brigadeiro. I I have. Huh? Do, do you do you make brigadeiro too, Daniela, or just bonbon? No, just so bonbons. <laughs> Only oh, one. Bonbons, okay. It's a no sugar brigadeiro. plum. Uh, sugar plum. Yeah, bon it's bon. warm for this. Uh, sugar, sugar sugar plum. You know, I have never had a sugar plum, but they uh, they talk about sugar plums. I think in Disney or, or like uh, in the book, like uh, sugar plum. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let me quickly. Uh, I've heard sugar plum, uh, but I've never. I don't think I've had one. Uh, let me see. Yes, no, this is a little different from sugar plums, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, if you, se tiver aí, Daniela. Eu tenho aqui pessoalmente, espera que eu Ah, okay. I think Daniela, Daniela has some. Oh. I uh, I I have a I have a sweet tooth. I like to eat uh sweets. So for me uh Let's see. Ah, oh. so so you you wrap you make you make it and you wrap them, yeah. Yes. Ah. Ah. Você não vale, você não vale, Daniela. Aí colocou inveja de nós agora, hein? Oh, yeah. ah. ah, okay. Nice. I wish so, I wish I could take one. That was, <laughs> yes, that was Leandro's excuse to eat one. Mm. You are very lucky, uh, Leandro. You have all the chocolate, I think, you can eat. Yes. <laughs> That's why Leandro is getting fat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Uh, so, like, so, do you you make the, you do sign language? Is this what you do too? Uh, yes. Ah, is it, uh, so Portuguese has its own uh, sign language, yes? Or is it? Uh, Brazilian. No? Yes. Br Brazilian. Uh, language sign is Brazil, uh, different uh, English, different Bolivia, different Europe. Different from uh, Portugal? Yeah. Different from Portugal. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's more different. And uh, even in the, in the country are different. From the north, from the oh the, yeah, different accents. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sign language accent. How how do you do an accent with the sign language? Oh, the symbols, the the signs are different. So yes, yes, the sign the signs are different. Mm. Yeah, but then we we can identify the accent by the the, the kind of signs and the way they do this. And the, oh, okay. in expressions, face. Yeah. Oh, so Sarah, you 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 can do uh, Brazilian sign language too, or no? I uh, I don't I don't um, speak <laughs> sign language uh, Brazilian sign language, but I learn uh, uh, Portuguese sign language. Because ah. Sarah actually does it live in Brazil. Ah, okay. Sarah lives I'm in. Sarah is from yeah. Portugal, right? I'm from oh. Portugal. Oh, okay. Oh, so so she, I can see my you. first foreign student. Oh, cool. 
Yes. Well, uh, um, well, this was great. I, I thank you all for um, for for sharing your your life with me and uh, and uh, you know trying and uh, and putting yourself in a virtual place to a public place uh, to practice your English. I, I'm I'm very impressed uh, that you all you did this and. Uh, continue. Uh, I, I could understand uh, most, if not all, of what you said, and that that's great. I could understand you, and this is very important for for English is to communicate and to understand. So, uh, really, really, uh, you should be very proud. You know, very proud of yourself, and uh, I enjoyed listening to, and and learning about your lives. Uh, so, thank you all. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you very much. They worked very hard to train and practice for this presentation. So that's why they can be understood. Very nice. Thank you. So let me take just take some pictures so we can wrap it up. Okay, are you ready for the pictures? Where's your perfume, Mark, Mike? Perfume? <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one, say cheese. Okay, one, only two more. Three, two, one, say cheese again. Okay, now with everybody, one second. Okay, three, two, one, say cheese. Okay, great. Thank you very much, everybody. Congratulations. As Mike said, you are wonderful students speaking English very well. I hope you liked the experience and maybe we can talk again in the future. Our next class is on Friday, don't forget. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk a little bit to Mike now, but if you want to, you can stay there, you can talk more, okay? So, bye bye, everyone. See you Friday. Thank you. So, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It was great. See you later. Have a good evening. Good evening. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, my. Here we are. I can't listen to you. Can you listen to me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Okay. You can't... It's because you didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> oh. So thank you very much for coming and staying so late. I know it's uh, pretty late at night for you. And I really appreciate your help. The students feel very motivated when they, they have this experience. Thank you very much. No, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, maybe can we, can we set another time to maybe you and I can talk because yeah, it is. It is late. I, I'm like super tired. Um, yeah, sure, no problem. So, um, and but, you, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't even have have to come to talk to me. Okay, that was not not a deal. <laughs> so we. Can... No, 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 no. I, I I I wanted to talk with you, and oh. there's there's a lot I want to talk with you about. But um, but I, I hope you you weren't pressured to to come to the the session <laughs> because I sent you oh. the times and etc. So. No, you. I thought you did a great job of keeping me uh, informed, and um, I thought you managed also the, the Zoom class uh, really well. And uh, yeah, there's a lot actually. I I, I wanted to. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, I sent you the emails. I really do want to talk with you about this. Um, but but yeah, just just um, I, I think um, I think the time difference might be tough to kind of combine uh, communities. Um, yeah, kind, but, kind of, not, not so much, I guess, but for some classes, yes. Yeah, for, no, I mean, like, uh, I mean, obviously for eight, for, for Asia, it would be tough unless we're doing like a, like an evening yeah. night for them and like a morning and like on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but for Moroccans, uh, I mean, they might be up later. Um, it, it just, it would, it, I don't know. It, so trying to find the time that that's what I'll think about, but, um, but yeah, I'd like to talk with you more about, um, I mean, this class is your private class or is this something part of a center or something? Oh yes, I, I work in this language kind of studio. So yes, okay. mo most well, classes are like that a little, mostly there, there are less students per class. That's mm. the, the biggest one. Mm. Okay, but, well, no, that, that's, that's cool. Um, well, yeah, there's, 
Well, we'll, we'll talk. If right now, like I am super tired, but no, uh, no problem. Do, do you want when, to set up uh, a time already? Do Do you want to to, to check the calendar? Are, are, are you on a WhatsApp or? Yes, yes, I am. I think have I sent you a message on WhatsApp before or no? No, I don't think so. But totally, no. yeah, we, we can set up a time this week or next week. I'm sorry for not replying your emails earlier. I wish I had. No, I, I didn't know if I if I was sending it to the wrong email or something. I was. Uh... No, no, it was, it was right. I just read, let you to reply later and completely forgot. That's my fault. Completely. Ah, uh, no worries. Um, okay, so can. Oh, you, you sent me in the chat. Okay, perfect. Let yes, me... that's the WhatsApp number uh, plus five five. Yeah. 31. Nine nine one five two seven two six eight. Oh, six six two. <laughs> oh, two. Okay. Uh, no, I, I enjoyed the class. It was. I think uh, it was uh, interesting, and I, I I liked how they were all uh, you know sharing and uh, opening up. It, it was it was cool. For, for some of them, it comes a little more naturally, but. Some of them have, have worked really hard on those presentations because they they have they, they don't have the, a very strong language skills, so it seems they 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 have to uh, struggle more. I just sent you a message that says, "Hey, okay, hi, I got it. Thank you very much." Cool. All right, so we're connected now. Okay, so anytime you want, I have a lot of free time during the day. I'm busier at my night here because I teach mostly at night because they still exactly. work yeah. and, and study during the day. But I'm, I'm mostly free during the day. We can talk anytime you want, okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I think we, we can find some time. Tomorrow will be a little busy, but yeah, let's, let's um, we'll talk. WhatsApp is gonna be much faster to figure out a time. Okay, okay, no problem. I just have to, to, to use my calendar and book the time because otherwise I just fill my schedule with other things. But if we do yeah. that, like with two or three days in advance, that's amazing. Okay, we'll do that. Um, all right, have a, have a good rest of your evening and thanks again, I uh, enjoyed that. Yeah, thank you very much for coming. It was uh, a pleasure for us and very important for all the students. And I, I, I'm really, I really appreciate your help, okay? Uh, no problem, no problem. Thank you. See you. See you later. Bye-bye.